Hi, this is Pat Johnson, your sociology instructor. In this mini lecture, we're going to start talking about the topic of culture. In 2014, my sister and I had the, vis the privilege to visit the Holy Land. We went to the country of Israel. We visited Bethlehem, Nazareth, the Sea of Galilee. We went to many different sites. One day, we went out to the Dead Sea and then toured the town of Jericho. Jericho is the oldest city on the face of the earth that is still in existence. It's about 11,000 years old. While we were visiting Jericho, we were driving in our huge tour bus down the main road. It was a divided road, two, uh, two lanes on one side, a median, and two lanes on the other side and we are traveling into the town. I noticed a woman standing in the median. She was not an American. She was a traditional Palestinian woman and dressed as such. Suddenly, she stepped out right in front of our tour bus that was going about 40 miles an hour. Our bus driver slammed on his brakes and narrowly missed hitting this woman. I immediately started wondering what had just happened. Did she hate tourists? Did she hate Americans in particular? What was going on? Our tour guide said, there's another one. And I questioned him, what did he mean by another one? And he said, that's another woman who's trying to kill herself. She's just not brave enough to commit suicide, so she walks out in front of tour buses, hoping that they'll run her over. My sister and I gaped at each other, astonished, shocked that we had just witnessed a woman who felt so powerless in her society that she was willing to throw herself in front of a tour bus to hopefully get run over and be killed. Our tour guide said, look at her face, and I could see tears streaming down her face. And he said, she's disappointed because we didn't hit her. She'll wait for another bus. I was experiencing something called culture shock. Culture shock is the feeling of disorientation we feel when we confront a culture vastly different from ours. I've had the privilege to travel to many countries, not just in the Middle East, but in the Far East, in Asia, in the South Pacific, all around the United States, um, throughout Europe a little bit. But this experience in Jericho shocked me more than any other cultural experience I've ever had. So I use this to start out the discussion of the topic of culture. What is culture? Culture is the values, norms, and material, material goods characteristic to a given group. We live in American culture, and if you haven't traveled outside of the United States, you probably haven't experienced culture shock and you may not even realize what culture is because we just kind of take it for granted. But as soon as you step into a culture that is different, vastly different from your own, you start realizing that it's not the same everywhere the way it is here. And there are vast differences between cultures. Another concept that is closely related to the topic of culture is the concept of a society. What is a society? A society is a group of people who live in a particular territory. So it's a geographical area in a sense. These people are subject to a common system or political authority and are aware of having a distinct identity from other groups. So again, we can talk about American culture, but we can also talk about the United States of America as a society. 
it has a particular geographical region. It is under a political authority and we have a distinct identity from other groups. So as we delve into this topic of culture in follow-up discussions, keep in mind that cultures are different. Just because another culture is very different from ours doesn't mean it's necessarily weird or wrong. And I challenge you to try to keep an open mind when you confront cultures that are different from yours.